God bless you. I come to you as the pastor of Wells Memorial Church of God in Christ here in the city of Greensboro. We have been open since, fully open since December. We have limited our numbers, but we're grateful that the Lord has allowed the persons to take the vaccines, and the vaccines are now uh, in the arms of a number of this, especially our elderly, and others will be getting it as time goes along, but we thank God for the progress so far, and we appreciate you for your patience and your prayers. I want to say to those of you that are the congregants of Wells, we're still talking to the Lord concerning how do we motivate and how do we continue to initiate a safe zone for our people to return completely uh, into uh, this facility. We are encouraging people to come on back to our facility. We have continued to improve the way in which we do what we do. You know how it is when you start something new. People are excited, but as time goes along, they lose their enthusiasm and excitement, and we're trying to tell them this is a part of our responsibility to continue to do that. Uh, we are asking you to come. We're asking you to uh, make sure that we continue to take the temperature, continue to uh, do, the, uh, do the application so that we'll know uh, what is going on. And if you do that, we appreciate you. We're still going to have uh, our Bible study here uh, in the sanctuary, but we're not uh, asking folk to come. We're asking you to join us online with our Bible study. Those uh, auxiliaries, we're still uh, asking you not to uh, come here to the church, but you can use the Zoom line, and you can meet with your uh, participants and members and we want to do that. Uh, yes, the virtual is a little bit more of a task, and people, to arrange it and to set your house up and your lighting. Uh, Sister Gold and I have a meeting occasionally um, with our uh, Market Street Development, uh, Greensboro now, and the other week, my electricity was out for the last three days, and so uh, when it came to internet and all those kinds of things, I mean, we, we had nothing, and I'm out in the country, so uh, I know how it is. Let us continue to remember that uh, during these winter months, as well as during this time of the pandemic, we've got to be cautious and careful. Do what you need to do. Make sure that you use those safety uh, advices that have been given about making sure that you have water, making sure that you have certain uh, availability of foods and light, candles. Be careful where you place those candles because that can cause a fire. But flashlights and some other things that you can utilize. Watch those heaters. Make sure you don't put heaters in there that will uh, cause uh, for carbon, uh, what they call that stuff? Was carbon monoxide. We don't want those kinds of things to happen, so be careful how you do those things. And then if push comes to shove, call a friend, call a colleague, call your children. Uh, I was going to tell you to come to the country, but the electricity is out. But find somewhere where you can be warm. Uh, and uh, let's continue to pray for those people that are going through it this time. Well, I can say more, but God bless you. I have been also told to go a little long with these things. So. Uh, I want you to know we are still praying for you and you pray for us. God bless you. Until the next time.